Hey, long time no see. It's been a while since I've made a video and if you stay tuned to the end, you will find out why. So here you can see I'm waking up at 12.45, which is very late, would not recommend. But recently in the last week, I have actually been going to bed and waking up a lot earlier. So now I'm waking up at like between 9.30 and 10.30. As you can see, I'm just getting straight to it, especially since on this day I got up so late, getting dressed, tying up my hair, trying to get a good start to my day even though it's late. And for me, picking clothes is a nightmare because I need new clothes. <laughs> I used to never make the bed, I used to not see the point in it, but now, I don't know, for some reason making the bed just makes me feel more accomplished and also my room doesn't look nearly as messy. Coffee, 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 gotta get that coffee. Lucy! I feel sick after that cherry now. You know, I literally was just, I was about to just not even say anything and just keep it to myself and go for as long as possible until you were like... Throwing up. <laughs> until I get food poisoning and run to the bathroom. Then you'd have to tell me, right? Not necessarily. Excuse me? If you caused me food poisoning, you wouldn't tell me? Wow, now I definitely have... Cherry Pop-Tart. Definitely. me? Yeah. You silly dude, you Now I definitely have trust issues. Fuck. You want to food poison me, so I cannot trust you with anything ever again. Cherry Pop-Tart, ladies and gentlemen. Hi. So, I know it's been a while... Since I've made a video, since I've posted on YouTube, it's been at least a year, which, not gonna lie, just saying that kind of makes me want to gag, but I'm gonna be real with you. Here's why I haven't been on YouTube for like the last year or year and a half, however long it's been. <sighs> Basically, I started filming videos even though I'm still filming on the phone that I started with. Well, not the phone, I'm just filming on a phone. I have a much better phone now, which is why this looks a lot better and probably sounds a lot better. Anyway, so I started YouTube even though I didn't have the best equipment. I have a phone, I have a tripod, and I have a little light. It's not like a fancy light by any means, but I purely did it because... I needed a creative outlet. I've always been a very creative person and I also get bored of doing the same thing too much, at least in general. There are a few things that I can do every day and be happy, but for the most part, I like to express my creativity and release any sort of, I don't know, anything that I have like built up inside, I need to let it out in a creative way is what I'm getting at. Which is why I started making videos and I know that I don't have a lot of followers and my videos aren't that high quality, blah 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 blah. Point is, I'm doing it for fun. And my friends really appreciate it as well. My friends back in Ireland, they love it and they text me when I do post a video and they're like, huh, oh, was, this was so funny or what kind of video you're going to post next. So it's 
I'm not taking it that seriously, but at the same time, I am annoyed at myself for letting someone else tell me what I should do and basically threaten me that if I don't stop filming videos and you know there'll be consequences blah 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 and what I mean by that is when I moved here from Ireland to America I moved in with my aunt and uncle and so when I started filming videos it was in their house and originally they kind of thought oh, okay this is kind of weird but cute like it's probably just a phase we'll let her do it for a little while <sighs> and then after a while they completely changed their tone like they just saw me as somebody who didn't want a full-time job which was so far from the truth yes I was working part-time job but it was not because I wanted to, it was because I really could not find a job that would actually give me consistently full-time hours every week in the area that I could get to. I didn't have a car, still don't have a car, so my, like where I work just basically depends on where I live and how far I can walk. So I could only walk to the mall, I was getting retail jobs and those jobs are only like, they're always part-time is my point. Anyway, so my aunt and uncle basically said that, you know, you're spending too much time doing stupid things like wasting your time um, filming videos and you spend so long editing and all this stuff and like for what, for what, like you're not going to get famous, you're not going to get rich, I don't know why you bother, like nobody really cares. And I was like, um, okay. And my aunt not so much, but my uncle basically implied it, we won't get into the nitty gritty stuff but he basically implied that if i didn't stop making videos then there would be consequences and my uncle is scary at times i haven't spoken to him in forever um he's a very like strict and stern when he says something, he means it, which aren't necessarily bad things, but whatever, that's a whole other ball game. So point is, I was scared. Like living under their roof, I was scared that his implications meant that they were gonna kick me out, um, that they were gonna punish me or something, even though they're not my parents, I was still afraid. And I was, I believe I was still 19 when I was making the videos. So this was like two years ago. Um, like when I started making it, it was about two years ago. Anyway, so that is basically why I stopped. And I'm actually quite embarrassed to say that because 21 year old Georgia now can reflect on that situation and I should have stood up for myself. I should have said, no, I don't care if I don't get famous or rich or whatever. I'm doing this purely because I need a creative outlet and I don't have a part-time job because I want to. It's because I don't have a car. I cannot drive for X reasons and blah, 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 blah. I should have done that, but I was a little pussy ass bitch and I didn't. Point is, here we are. It is 2020. Everyone is in quarantine and I'm bored of shit. And I also miss making videos and I'm sure my friends in Ireland would like to see this too. You know, they'll have something to watch, I'll have something to make. It's an all around good idea. So, Speaking about quarantine, I hope that you liked my little montage slash highlight reel up until now. Um, originally, I wanted to get this video out in like a day. Like I originally planned on filming it, editing and uploading in a day, which is totally possible. But the thing is, like, to be honest, um, we haven't really had much to do. <laughs> like, 
I'm gonna be so real with you. My boyfriend and I have been so lazy the last few weeks. Like, we've been trying to find things to occupy ourselves and it's really hard when there's nowhere open. It was a lot harder than I thought and like, I'm not complaining. At least I'm safe and I'm healthy and like, knock on wood, none of us are gonna get sick. But yeah, so anyway, I just, this video took a lot longer than expected. Um, still, it's only been like a week. I'm kind of glad that I took my time because I was able to get like little highlights from every day over the last few days and bring them all together rather than having like a super short and or super boring, like simple video. So this has sort of been a mixture, a jumble of different things and I hope you like it. Um, like I said, I really needed something to do um, and this has been a lot of fun. <laughs> Even though I haven't been doing anything crazy, it's still been fun to just have little snippets of our day and share that in a video for you. So basically, quarantine, um, we're all kind of going crazy. I do feel really bad for my friends and family in Ireland and Spain. My family in Ireland told me that the guards, like the police, are following them. Well, not them specifically, but people in Ireland. They will follow you if they see you at walking and they'll ask like, where are you going, where do you live, how far have you been traveling. You can't travel any further than two kilometers. Um, um, and in Spain, it's even more extreme because you have to have paperwork every time you leave the house. So my um, little sister's good friend who lives in Spain, her father, every time he leaves for the grocery store, which is like the only thing that they pretty much leave for now, he has to print out this form, fill it out, say where he lives, his information, blah, 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 blah. When he goes to the store, he has to show it to he has to show his paperwork to the people who work there and if the police stop him he has to have his documentation or you could get arrested like what can you imagine just walking to the store and getting arrested like that's a little extreme call me crazy but i think that's so <sighs> I can't really complain like I don't feel like we've been getting the worst of it yes we have a lot of cases but at least the police aren't on people's ass like following them and arresting them and telling them to go home like that would if it got to that I would be really freaked out so I really should like start going in walks more and doing home workouts because I feel like I've gained weight just being inside I mean if I have I haven't even weighed myself but if I have, it's probably only been a few pounds and I'm just being like dramatic. But ugh, I feel like such a bomb. Does anyone else feel like a bomb? Like I'm just inside eating. Thank God my boyfriend and I got a Nintendo Switch right before this all happened because I would be bored as fuck. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Um, and I will be making more videos now that I've gotten over, I'm, I don't live with my aunt and uncle, by the way, anymore, that, which is, yeah, anyway, so I can make videos, I'm not afraid, I'm not a pussy ass bitch anymore, I'm two years older, more mature, I don't really care what people think, this is what I want to do as a hobby, as a creative outlet, so I'm back, gonna make some videos, and I hope you enjoy it. Stay safe, stay healthy. Everyone try not to lose your minds in quarantine and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.